Hey guys, today I want to talk about uh, a hard topic really, well, hard for some. So today I want to talk about shame, shame as a single person. Um, many, I don't know about you guys, but some of us do feel shame by being single. We'll feel unworthy. We'll feel like we failed as a woman or as a man. You know, like sometimes I'll have thoughts that I failed as a woman because God made me woman to bear children, to, to nourish, to, to serve, be a wife and, you know, to, to procreate, you know, all that stuff. And I haven't done that yet and I'm 38 years old. So it's natural for me to feel like a failure in that area. I know it's a lie of the enemy. It's something that it's every day you have to, to rebuke. Not every day, but you know, the days that you're like feeling down and feeling like a failure, feeling shameful. Those are those things are from the enemy and you have to rebuke that when it comes to your mind. So I do that. But those are still things that a single people, I believe, go through. Um, going through shame, feeling shameful. Yeah, one of them, one of them is feeling not worthy. One of them is, I'm embarrassed, especially towards my family who are all married with kids and I'm the only one in the family not married and don't have kids. So that's embarrassing for me because you know, when there's gatherings, family gatherings, everyone's coming together, everyone has their spouse, everyone has their kids. And here I am alone amidst all of these people. Yes, they're my family. And yes, it's a safe place for me to be in for sure. But I, I can't help it. Sometimes I'll feel embarrassed that I am alone. Another one is, you know, part of the embarrassment is, is because we feel like we can't find someone to love us, to marry us, to want to spend the rest of our, their lives with us. Me. I'm talking about general us, but um, it, it's shame creeps in in places that you're not even aware is eating at you. So those are places that shame can creep up for me. And another one would be, you know, something's wrong with me. What's wrong with me? I have to self-evaluate myself to see what am I doing wrong every time I, every time I go through a failed attempt at a relationship. What am I doing wrong? What's wrong with me? Of course, I'm going to assess that it's me because I'm the common denominator and all of the guys I'm trying to, you know, make it work with. So I have to be the common denominator, right? Who is nobody else's fault? So I'll blame myself. So what's wrong with me? Um, another part of shame would be like, am I going to be single forever? For, for me, that would be a shameful thing. Obviously, I know it's not all of those things are, I know it's a lie of the enemy. I know all of that. I'm strong enough now, but back then when it was brand new for me being single, I didn't know these things. I didn't know that God had to bring me through the season. God, God had to teach me a few things. I didn't, I wasn't wise enough back then. Now I could say, you know, I'm, uh, I'm getting there. You know, I'm not going to say I'm wise, but I'm wiser. I don't, I wouldn't call it part of shame, but I feel like it's so strong in me that I feel like I'm wasting my time. I'm wasting my precious years of my prime time in my life. You know, I'm, 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 yeah, I feel like I'm not, I don't have wrinkles just yet, you know, and I don't have white hairs yet, and I, I don't look old yet. So I'm in my prime time right now where I feel at my best, I feel at my, you know, prettiest, I feel at my healthiest. And this is a time where I want to be sharing with someone else. I want to please my husband in that way to, to feel beautiful in front of him and every day that I go through single I feel uglier and fatter and and uh sicker <laughs> if that makes any sense 
but I know it's a lie. I know it's a lie, but it's still in my head. Like it's still thoughts that goes through my mind. And through that, it's sort of removing a bit of desire, not desire, but motivation to better myself, to take care of myself, to, you know, sometimes I'll just open a bag of chips and be like, ah, screw it. I'm single and nobody will ever, you know, marry me. So I'll just eat this whole bag of chips and gain weight and get uglier, you know? It's not gonna change anything in my life because I'm single and I'll always be single. So it's a, it's a, it's a sick mentality to have, obviously. It's not healthy. It's not godly to think this way, but it still comes. It's still thoughts that come. Do these thoughts come to you? I'd like to know. Am I the only one that thinks these things? I don't know, but I do. You know, it's, it's just like admitting defeat. Admitting defeat is so much easier than fighting. Am I right? Because, yeah, I know I'm right. And like, sometimes I notice I have to take a break from social media, you know, especially Facebook and Instagram. Scrolling through pictures and seeing other people happy, married, getting pregnant, having a baby, buying a house together, all of that pleasantries that I don't get to experience with someone else. That can develop, um, it can develop envy inside of my heart. It can develop, it can develop coveting. I can covet and, and want what they have and not see what I have already. And it's just very unhealthy. Social media is very unhealthy for these single people. I mean, am I right? <laughs> I think I'm right. But it doesn't help to see other people happy, to see other people getting what they want while you're still struggling and fighting to understand why you're still in this season. So these are all things that I go through, not on a daily basis. Like I, I know I'm good. I'm, I'm in a good place. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm full of joy. I'm full of peace. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be and I'm happy. But still, I get those thoughts creeping into my mind every so often. All of these things. And I know they're all lies of the enemy and I, I rebuke them as they come. And that's how I became stronger and more able to withstand this season in my life is by knowing that God is there and he's given me the strength that I need to fight off these lies that come to me. Yeah, let me know what you guys if you experience these things, uh, shame and embarrassment by being single at your age, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if that's something you go through. And yep, yeah, on to the next video. Thanks for listening. Bye.